So what are we doing here, Jerry? Well, we're getting the hide ready. We're soaking. We got to soften it up so we can tie our drum. We got to make sure every inch of the hide is wet. So if you got seams, you got to open all them seams up. There we go. This was a previously soaked hide, and then we're re-soaking. It's a natural elk too, where it's not been no chemicals that were processing it, you know. So it was done organically, I guess is the only way to say it. So there's no coloring, no bleaching, and no chemicals on it. And the hole you probably see is probably the bullet hole. Probably went in one and out the other. This is very close to traditional way that we make them in uh, Canada, where I'm originally from. And uh, from the Stalo Nation, this is uh, a similar style. And uh, this is made out of, um, this is a moose hide. And uh, I'm just carrying on what, what's been going on in our within our people for centuries and uh, of course we're doing this in a way to honor Creator and in our language from Helcomelo language it's uh, Ochicha Siam. Ochicha Siam uh, is uh, like the great mystery. What you're seeing here is a traditional hand drum and you're also seeing a traditional what in our Indian country they, they would call these powwow drums but my tradition and my belief in the Creator, the Great Above One, is I call these drums Abba drums, Father drums, the Heart of the Father. And then another common name used for these drums is called uh, Unity drums. So if you think about that, when you bring people together in a circle, they become a family. And you look and you honor them and respect each one before you even play the instrument. You honor these people that are sitting with you. If you don't know them, by the time you're done, you will get to know them and you will sense their heart as, they, as they're playing. Where I come from, too, obviously, you know, on the West Coast where it's a lot colder and wetter, we have to heat our drums with a, with a hair dryer. And uh, there it is. 